What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout my Transforms clips, 112 scale clips, whatever you collect, shout to you. And this week's 2MP and not to MP is we're doing something different for the month of November. We're going to do all Bayverse figures for the month of November because it's going to help me lead to a point that I'm going to try to do in another video in December. But this week's 2MP and not to MP is the unique toys, crew kill of their version of Lockdown. And just let me say it again. The whole month of November, we're going to do Bay version figures for the 2MP and not 10P. So I know everybody's not a big Bay version fan, but we're going to do the Bay version figures for a whole month because I, I want to prove a point with them. And I think they're going to help. I think walking down this path is going to help me do my video in December where we talk more about these figures and kind of what they represent in general. So without further ado, we're going to do it as always. We're going to do what I, we don't like about the figures, what we do like about the figures and say if it's an MP or not. And for the first time, I, I think in this whole 2MP and not to the MP series, we have both versions live. So we have the alt mode and the robot mode. And so let's start with what we don't like. And right now, the robot mode is modeling the Mr. Bucket upgrade on the left. Yeah, on your left, on the left, on, on the gun. And that's the first thing I don't like about the figures, the hands. So let me take this off. And so. The hand is just no real, I mean, everything moves on the pen, no real individual finger articulation. It looks weird. It's not painted. It doesn't even look real. It just looks like they had to give them a hand, so they gave them something. So, like, that's one of them. That's actually the first thing that annoyed me with this figure, and that's what made me get these Mr. Bucket upgrade pieces because I was so disappointed in how the figure came out. So, that was, like, my number one kind of problem with it. My number two problem with it is these are these window pieces. Now it's cool engineering how the windows kind of become the belt form, but it's not functional because it's not this should have been a die cast piece, but because it isn't, it has a crack in it. Because it's just translucent plastic and translucents are um, you know, notoriously fickle. Both parts have a crack in it and if I bring out The original, you can see the crack right here, right there. The crack right here where it wants to break out. So like that was just, it was great engineering, but a bad. It was bad execution, but a great concept. And it, if they would have used die cast or better, stronger material, just not translucent plastic. If they would have did normal plastic and glued the translucent for the window, they would have had a much better fit instead of just using translucent plastic. But those are my two main things about it. I think that let's talk about the good. Oh, third main, third thing I don't like about it. Just this gap right here in the car mode. The gap. So those are the things I don't like about it. What I do like about it is I think the all mode is beautiful. Like, I think the all mode is gorgeous. And you would you wouldn't have an idea outside of that one piece, you wouldn't know it transformed unless you looked up under it. I think the bot mode is fantastic. Like, I think for figures that are normally all black figures, it's hard for them to kind of pop on the shelf. They make it pop on the shelf. They give it, like, the proper ac accents, like this metallic set. And the different hues, like, this is one of the things they do that's real cool on here is just different hues of kind of grays and blacks and stuff like that. And, like, they have some die cast parts that, you know, plays well with, with the light. So, like, depending on how the light hits it, it gives, like, a different effect. Um, they have that a couple of places here, the blues and stuff. So it, it, that goes very well. It articulates very well. It's just everybody who follows me, and if you follow me for a long time, I think this was my 2019 figure of the year. So I have a very high opinion of it. So I, I, I got two of them. So it, it was that nice I got it twice. So obviously it's an MP to me. And I think that this figure is an iconic figure because I think before that, I think that people. You know, and you still, people still shit on the Bayverse figures. I mean, Bayverse universe, and that includes the figures. But I think this is the first figure where people are like, whoa, 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 wait and see. And Unique Toys knocked out the park. I think it changed people's perception of Unique Toys. I think it prepared them to a higher level. I think people always, before this, were like, Unique Toys, they okay. But not, I, they're okay, but they're not the best. I think people say, whoa, if they're capable of this, they can get to another level. So I think it was, 
I think it was iconic for Unique Toys. It was iconic for the Bayverse and just the iconic figure because it was the first figure in the MP Bayverse line and third party and it knocked it out the park. So yes, this is an MP. This is a iconic figure to me. I think that this is going back to Chili Con Carne, This is definitely a first battle Hall of Fame. This is a first battle Hall of Fame where people already know it's already once they retire, they're like, we're just waiting on him to wait out his time before he gets in the Hall of Fame. So, yes, definitely MP, iconic figure. And keep in mind, for the month of November, we're doing all Bayverse figures. And let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. Do you think it's an iconic figure? Do you think it's an MP? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thanks, as always, for watching.